Hello, my name is Dr. Julie Edween. Today we're going to talk about periorbital rejuvenation, specifically with a medium depth chemical peel. Today we're going to do a combination Jesner's and 35% TCA peel. You have to ask the patient about their social uh, habits where she spends a lot of time gardening, she's out in the sun all the time, she rollerblades, she's frequently by the pool, so she has a lot of sun exposure. Frequent sun exposure is something that's key in assessing how you're going to blend the area between the peeled area and the non-peeled area of the skin. And we'll get back to that during the procedure. This is a medium depth peel. And in choosing the peel for your patient, you have to assess the patient's skin type, quality, her medical history, and also her social history. Before you choose which type of peel you use, it's important to classify the patient to make sure you're choosing the correct peel for the patient. So here you have lines that are etched into her skin. These are lines noted at rest. You can see she has textural changes above on the upper lid and the lower lid. She has moderate amount of photo damage on both sides, and she's an excellent candidate for this procedure. She also tans very easily and she burns rarely. So you can see she pretty much fits the classic Fitzpatrick type three, Gloga type three. All patients are pre-screened with a pre-treatment questionnaire. It goes over the medical history, history of smoking, prior use of Accutane, history of cold sores, all these things are addressed beforehand. And all patients need to be pre-treated with a combination of Retin-A and Hydroquinone. It's a 0.05 Retin-A and a 4% Hydroquinone quinone combination. It's used for about four weeks prior to the treatment. So here we're going to be doing a combination Jesner's 35% TCA peel. We have the patient at a 45 degree angle. I am going to be at the head of the table and my assistant is going to be to the side. This is the setup we have and um, right here we have acetone to degrease the skin followed by the Jesner's peel followed by the TCA. I have cotton tip applicators off to the side. The first thing we're going to do is protect the eye with a lubricating ointment. And so I use lacquer lube eye drops. I'm just going to put this at the corner of your eye here and then you're going to blink. All right. Blink. I'm going to degrease the skin have some more acetone. with some um, acetone. And it's taking off any of the excess oils that she has. Now she has washed her face already with a Cetaphil cleanser. Um, she's not wearing any makeup. I usually start off with um, gauze and then I will go ahead and follow it up with a cotton tip applicator just for evenness. Prior to this, the patient has had um, Xanax for anxiety. She's also been given a handheld fan, so she can use it um, to alleviate some discomfort once the peel has started. When you're starting the peel, you should divide the eyes up into subunits. I call this the lateral crow's feet, the lateral, lateral canthal area. Next, this is the infrabrow area the upper eyelid and the lower eyelid, and then this is the root of the nose and the inner canthus. And what I do is I start on one area and then I do the contralateral other area. That way you have an even take and you're able to remember how much pressure, how much, and, and how much solution you applied to the area. I put the top cotton tip applicator in, and I'm gonna show it's important to take it and roll it up against the sides to get, any, to get rid of any excess. That way you have a consistent amount of, of, of solution that you're applying to the skin. We're going to start for applying the first um, peel. And remember you have a handheld fan that you can use for comfort. And so you're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply the first pass. Expect to feel some burning. And it's gonna peak in intensity. And you can see it turning from there's a light frost that's appearing on the skin. Going over to the opposite eye, spreading in this lateral canthal area, and applying. Doesn't have to be hard strokes, but gentle, broad strokes. 